The second time this year, West Virginia's Republican Party is embroiled in a major internal dispute. The first time it was the governor, but now this latest fight involves two prominent party leaders. 13 News Chief Political Reporter Mark Curtis has more from the Capitol. You said, what are they looking for? A lot of the fight centers on who supports or opposes Governor Jim Justice, who joined the GOP after first being elected as a Democrat. State Party Chair Melody Potter has now removed Wood County Republican Chairman Rob Cornelius from office after she says he referred to her as, quote, a disappointing liar and a prostitute. Cornelius, who opposes Governor Justice, says state election law was violated. State Code 319 simply says that uh, she cannot interfere in this on this basis. You can't just simply nullify an election because your feelings got hurt or because Jim Justice told you to get rid of me. For Melody Potter, she's got a legal situation where she's put her own feelings over state law, and that's a problem. But this is not the first internal Republican fight of the year. This governor is just the opposite of that. You can't find him when something's going wrong. It's ridiculous. It's totally ridiculous. Craig is trying to be a bully. He's trying to yell. The governor and Senate GOP leaders had a very public feud over education, but at least one political analyst believes it won't turn off voters. That's inside ball. They want to make sure that the, the government does what it's supposed to do, that the roads are fixed, that their income tax checks get back on time, that they're safe. I don't think it has any impact on the actual turnout of the election. Still, the latest fight between party chair Potter and Wood County chair Cornelius looks like it's heading to court. Where does this stop? Clearly what she's doing appears to be illegal. Melody Potter, who supports Governor Justice, declined our invitation for an interview. As this latest fight within the state Republican Party appears headed for a court fight, a lot of people in the Republican Party tell me they're worried about the impact with the state primary now just 10 months away. At the state capitol in Charleston, I'm Mark Curtis, 13 News, working for you. Well, let's talk about that potential court fight today. The Secretary of State's office declined to rule if the dismissal of Wood County Chairman Rob Cornelius, whether or not it was legal. So it looks like a court will have to make that determination.